Am I in the wrong Ida for leaving a bad review on a small store? So my boyfriend and I have a tradition for our anniversary that we each go to a store and separate, and after we buy each other gifts we exchange in the car. It's silly and cute. We walked into this new mom and pop anime store, I am a huge anime nerd and my boyfriend likes video games which they also sell. We separate and I go look at stuff for my boyfriend. A worker walks up to me and starts chatting, then points at my leg. I have a pretty big tattoo of Kakashi from Naruto on my thigh, among other anime tattoos. He asks if I got that for my boyfriend and I said no, I've always loved Naruto and then showed him my other tattoos which included the leaf village symbol, Gara of the Sands Gourd, and a piece on my arm of Asuma Sarutobi. He started quizzing me on the lore of the anime and I told him I wouldn't have spent $1,000 on tattoos of an anime I didn't know about, and I didn't appreciate him trying to catch me in a gotcha moment. He told me he didn't believe a girl could ever fully understand the real story of Naruto and the depth behind it, lol. I told him I didn't need his services and he can go back to the front desk. He told me I was a rude wannabe female dog and walked into the back and I continued purchasing my items. I left a review later, TLDR, if you're feminine presenting enter with caution, one of the employees will call you a female dog when you don't want to prove your nerd cred to him. The owner left a comment on my review asking for an email conversation and asked that I take down my review because people have started complaining about this employee as well and his sale revenue has dropped. I told him I wouldn't and maybe he shouldn't hire misogynists if he doesn't want bad reviews. My friends tell me I'm overreacting. Ida?